Since the dawn of time, the human spirit has craved the unattainable, looked skyward, and longed for the freedom of the birds. Across civilizations, from the ancient myths of Icarus and Daedalus to the towering legends of Chinese kites and the enigmatic Nazca lines of Peru, our ancestors have left whispers of their dream to conquer the skies. What is it that impels us to look up and imagine ourselves among the clouds? How did the yearning to defy Earth's embrace and soar into the heavens evolve from mere whispers to a clarion call that could no longer be ignored? In our quest to take flight, who would have thought that two bicycle makers from Dayton, Ohio, would not only dare to dream, but also dare to succeed? How did Orville and Wilbur Wright, through sheer tenacity and ingenious insight, challenge the bounds of gravity itself and alter the course of history? Join us as we unravel this remarkable tale of human persistence that launched us, quite literally, into the skies. Delving into the early life of Wilbur and Orville Wright, two unsung heroes of their time, begins in the heartland of the United States. Born four years apart, Wilbur came into the world on April 16, 1867, with Orville following on August 19, 1871. The brothers were the middle children in a family of five, raised in Dayton, Ohio, where their father, Milton Wright, served as a bishop in the Church of the United Brethren in Christ. Education for the Wright brothers was not confined within the walls of a classroom. Their family environment was rich with intellectual stimulation, with their mother, Susan Corner Wright, nurturing their blossoming minds. Susan, herself skilled in mechanical pursuits, encouraged her sons to pursue interests far beyond the standard curriculum. As a result, schooling for Wilbur and Orville was a blend of public education and homeschooled enrichment. Despite neither brother receiving a formal high school diploma, Wilbur foregoing his own due to a family move and Orville's educational path cut short by a business venture, they were both voracious readers. Their home library brimmed with volumes on a wide array of subjects, from literature to mechanics, fueling their innate curiosity. It was this zeal for knowledge that drove their early experimentation. The brothers' maiden foray into the realm of invention was not in the field of aviation, but rather the printing press. In their teens, they established their own newspaper, the West Side News, capitalizing on Orville's experience working at a print shop. The brothers' early ventures displayed the same innovation and practical problem-solving skills that would hallmark their contribution to aviation. Their experimentation wasn't confined to entrepreneurial exploits. The pair was also fascinated by the mechanics of flight from a young age. Inspired by a toy helicopter based on the designs of French aeronaut Alphonse Peinot, the brothers' youthful minds were set alight with dreams of airborne machines. It was a simple device, powered by a rubber band to twirl its rotor, but it sowed the seeds for what was to later become their life's work. This insatiable appetite for discovery continued as they developed their first business venture together, a bicycle shop. The Wright Cycle Company, established in 1892, not only provided steady income, but also became a laboratory of sorts for their aviation experiments. Bicycles and flight shared common ground, the need for balance, control, and lightweight structures, all of which informed their later designs. The Wright brothers were not men born of privilege with unlimited resources. They were inventors of practicality, driven by empirical tests and observations. Their upbringing was not extraordinary for its time, but the combination of their curiosity, their supportive family, and their own drive to understand the world around them propelled Wilbur and Orville from the humble streets of Dayton onto a path that would change the world forever. Imagine a time when the sky above was not crisscrossed by airplanes, when the wonder of flight was still a question, a dream clutched tightly in the minds of visionaries. Among these dreamers were two brothers, Wilbur and Orville Wright, whose names would become synonymous with the genesis of flight. Long before their airborne aspirations took shape, they exhibited a relentless curiosity, a trait evident from their early days in Dayton, Ohio. Delving into the annals of their past, we find Wilbur and Orville, two inquisitive minds unfettered by formal higher education, 
Yet, what they lacked in schooling, they compensated for with an insatiable desire for knowledge. Their self-directed studies led them down a path paved with the writings of celebrated physicists and engineers. They absorbed the theories of Sir Isaac Newton and closely followed the aeronautical experiments of Otto Lilienthal. The brothers knew that if humankind were ever to dance among the clouds, it would take more than mere hope. It would require a rigorous understanding of the invisible forces at play. With a makeshift workshop as their canvas and the principles of physics as their palette, the Wright brothers set about painting their masterpiece. They turned to nature for inspiration, observing the flight of birds and pondering on the intricate mechanics that allowed such effortless grace in the air. These early aeronautical experiments began modestly, focusing on kites and gliders. Through trial and myriad errors, they inched ever closer to unraveling the mysteries of the wind and wing. By 1901, their experimental gliders, fashioned from wood, wire, and fabric, soared on the air currents of North Carolina's outer banks. It was here, amidst the dunes of Kitty Hawk, that the brothers' theories were put to the ultimate test. Although their early attempts yielded mixed results, Wilbur and Orville refused to bow to frustration. Instead, they meticulously logged each outcome, learning from the sky itself. With each adjustment to wing shape, each alteration in design, they edged closer to controlled, sustained flight. As the Wright brothers' understanding of aerodynamics deepened, so too did their conviction that they were on the cusp of something monumental. It was a time of bold experimentation, an era at the dawn of a new chapter in human history, where the bounds of gravity were challenged by the sheer force of human will and intellect. The stage was set, and the world, though unknowing, was soon to witness the Wright brothers' audacious leap into the skies. In an era where the concept of flight was a tapestry woven out of fantasy and burgeoning theories, two steadfast brothers, Wilbur and Orville Wright, etched their names into history with extraordinary contributions to aerodynamics. It was in the quaint bicycle shop in Dayton, Ohio, that the pair meticulously pieced together the puzzle of controlled flight. Their relentless fascination was not merely to soar, but to master the skies with an elegance dictated by scientific principles. The Wright brothers' journey into aerodynamics was a testament to observation and ingenuity. They delved into the work of earlier aviation pioneers and quickly surmised that control was the keystone that had eluded many. In the year 1900, they ventured to Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, a place with the perfect canvas of steady winds conducive to their experiments. It was here that they embarked on a series of glider tests that laid the foundation for their revolutionary breakthrough. With keen analytical minds, they recognized that a fixed-wing aircraft's control in the roll axis could not be achieved through the sheer brute force which had been conventionally attempted. Instead, they drew inspiration from a concept as graceful as it was practical, the flight of birds. Intuitively, birds altered their wing angles to bank and turn. The Wright brothers aimed to replicate this form of control using a method we know today as wing warping. By 1902, after several iterations of their gliders, they introduced the innovative wing warping mechanism. This technique involved the pilot using a system of pulleys and cables that could twist the wingtips in opposite directions. Increasing the lift on one wing and decreasing it on another allowed the craft to roll towards the desired direction, giving the pilot unprecedented command over the aircraft's movement. The brilliance of the Wrights lay not just in the ideation, but in their ability to translate theory into tangible success. It didn't stop there. Paired with their groundbreaking three-axis control system, which integrated wing warping with forward elevator control and a steerable rudder, the Wright brothers had crafted the fundamental mechanics for modern aviation. The historic flights of 1903 were imminent and the brothers stood on the precipice of an achievement that would forever alter humanity's reach. The trials, errors, and triumphs within the confounds of their humble workshop had culminated in a blueprint for the skies, a legacy still admired and studied over a century later. 
Wilbur and Orville Wright showed us that with a blend of curiosity, persistence, and scientific rigor, the limits of the natural world were not barriers, but invitations to innovate. Through their breakthroughs in aerodynamics and the development of their wing warping technique, they vaulted humankind into a new era where the sky was no longer the limit. It was the beginning. Stepping into the realm of powered flight posed a labyrinth of engineering and physical challenges for the Wright brothers, challenges that demanded a fusion of innovation, courage, and sheer will. The era was ripe with experiments and failures, a time when the goal of a controllable, powered aircraft was much like scaling an insurmountable peak. Wilbur and Orville, encased in the grip of their vision, embarked on this journey with a blend of optimism and pragmatism. The year 1900 saw their first glider experiments at Kitty Hawk, revealing the necessity for precise control in the yaw, pitch, and roll of an aircraft. These results directed every ensuing action, every meticulous calculation. Their resolve only strengthened in the face of adversity, for the brothers were not merely chasing a dream. They were building the very foundation of a new era. By 1901, their second glider, larger and supposedly improved, once again tested the sands of Kitty Hawk. Initial failings, far from disheartening the rights, were seen as opportunities for enlightenment. They shook the contemporary theories of aerodynamics, which they now deemed unreliable, and pioneered their own path. An innovative wind tunnel built in 1901 stood as a testament to their relentless pursuit of empirical evidence and reliable data. The year 1902 bore witness to a breakthrough. The brothers designed a new glider with revolutionary wing shape and size, demonstrating an improved control mechanism inspired by their relentless wind tunnel experiments. It was this glider that validated their theories, fueling their drive toward the coveted goal of powered flight. Determination materialized into innovation yet again as 1903 dawned. Despite their limited resources, Wilbur and Orville surpassed their engineering contemporaries by building a custom, lightweight engine in-house. This bespoke power plant would hallmark their next creation. Precision and ingenuity interlaced in the propellers carved by their own hands, propellers that revealed an intimate understanding of air as a fluid medium. December 17, 1903 marked their transcendent leap. The Wright Flyer, with Orville at the controls, quivered on the launch rail at Kitty Hawk. Then, the improbable was realized. A 12-second flight, a mere 120 feet, but the distance spanned epochs. The brothers faced skepticism and mockery from the public and press alike, only to emerge resolute and vindicated. Each obstacle surmounted by the Wright brothers in pursuit of powered flight served as a forge for their legacy, a legacy underscored by an unwavering conviction that the sky was not a limit but a vast, open canvas waiting for humankind's indelible mark. Their path was neither simple nor direct, but it was the singularity of their purpose and their unyielding grasp on the craft of innovation that carried them, and ultimately all of us, into a new horizon dotted with airplanes and endless possibilities. As dawn broke on December 17, 1903, the air at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, pulsated with a tense anticipation. Surrounded by a small group of witnesses, Orville and Wilbur Wright prepared for a trial that could either fulfill their dreams or add to a string of disappointments. The cold morning breeze was steady, ideal for their experiment. Yet the gravity of the moment weighed heavily upon the brothers. Today, they would attempt to prove that powered, sustained, and controlled flight was possible. With the aircraft positioned on a monorail track designed to help it gain initial velocity, Orville took his position at the controls while Wilbur steadied the wings. The tension was palpable as Orville ignited the engine, the propellers slicing into the wind, and with a nod to his brother, released the restraints. The flyer moved down the rail, and to the astonishment of every soul present, it lifted gracefully into the air. Orville Wright, lying prone on the lower wing, piloted the first powered flight in history, covering 120 feet in 12 seconds. Subsequent flights that day, 
would see Wilbur piloting a longer distance, up to 859 feet, proving the repeatability and viability of their invention. In the immediate aftermath of the flyer's touchdown, the feelings that washed over the brothers and their witnesses were a complex tapestry of relief, joy, and awe. The brothers exchanged looks that spoke volumes, pride mingled with triumph. The air was electric with the realization that they had transcended a boundary that humanity had only dreamed of crossing, braving a frontier that had existed as an untouchable horizon in the collective human consciousness. The flight was not just a testament to the Wright brothers' unyielding pursuit, but a beacon of possibility for all of humankind. As the news of their success spread, it marked a defining chapter in the chronicles of human achievement, one characterized by unwavering tenacity and profound curiosity, a page written on the sands of Kitty Hawk that would never be forgotten. As the Wright brothers achieved what many thought to be the impossible, the ripple effect of their success in aviation cascaded through the fabric of society in ways that would define the future. The aftermath of that chilly December day in 1903 went beyond the sandy dunes of Kitty Hawk. It ushered in an era of transportation that shrank the world and connected its farthest corners. No longer were people restrained by vast oceans or expansive continents. The Wright brothers' pioneering aircraft laid the foundation for the commercial aviation industry that today sees millions of passengers traverse the globe annually with an ease once deemed fantastical. Beyond commercial travel, the Wright brothers' invention dramatically altered military strategy and capability. As the world watched in awe at the control and freedom the Wright flyer exhibited in the sky, militaries around the globe recognized the potential for an airborne vantage point. By the time World War I commenced, airplanes had already been adopted into military use, marking a significant shift in how wars were fought. The skies had become a new battlefield as reconnaissance and aerial combat emerged, changing the dynamics of warfare forever. The Wrights had not just granted humanity the gift of flight, they had transformed the very nature of conflict between nations. Reflecting on the legacy of the Wright brothers, it's evident that their contribution transcended technological innovation. Their tenacity and vision have inspired countless individuals and industries to reach for their own impossible dreams. The brothers' impact can be measured in the way travel has facilitated global connections, how commerce has become an international endeavor, and how defense strategies have evolved with the inclusion of the aerial dimension. Wilbur and Orville Wright did not merely invent an aircraft, they redefined the trajectory of the modern world, setting flight to humanity's greatest aspirations, and in doing so, leaving an indelible mark on history. As we near the end of our exploration into the lives of Wilbur and Orville Wright, we reflect upon the extraordinary chronicle of two siblings who, driven by an insatiable curiosity and unyielding determination, not only realize their own ambitions, but also humanity's ancient aspiration to soar through the skies. Their odyssey from a small bicycle shop in Dayton, Ohio, to the sands of Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, marks a pivotal chapter in human progress. The significance of the Wright brothers' achievements cannot be overstated. On December 17, 1903, they shattered the shackles of gravity, revamping the perceived limits of transport and reshaping the future of our globe. Their pioneering spirit, coupled with keen minds adept in the assimilation of physics and engineering principles, catalyzed advancements in technology that persist to this very day. In inspiring future generations, the Wright brothers exemplify how innovation, coupled with perseverance, can surmount the loftiest of challenges. They teach us that the frontiers of possibility are continually redefined not by the magnitude of dreams, but by the persistence in making them reality. The story of their journey is a testament to what humanity can achieve when we dare to chase dreams with unwavering tenacity and boundless passion. Thank you for joining us on the Daily History Podcast to witness the remarkable journey of the Wright brothers. If this story of innovation and determination has inspired you, please subscribe to our channel 
and share your thoughts in the comments below. We're eager to hear which historical milestones you're curious about. Remember, you can drive the choice for our next episode, suggest a topic, and if your idea gets the most likes, it could be featured in an upcoming episode. Thank you for listening, and stay tuned for more windows into the past that have shaped our present.